So the people who were involved in the film, Aaron and I were the, the producers in the beginning. You know, we had the idea and we set out to get it made. And Alexandros Uzas from Exile Entertainment took us under his wing and he had a lot of experience. He then brought on Tessa Mansfield Hung, who also has a lot of experience. So as us four, we produced the film together. What inspired us to create this, this film was, it, it actually kind of stemmed from a short film that we did in 2017. As, as an actor, I had produced work before, like I had produced short films before for friends and, and other people, but thought, you know, I want to write something for me as an actor and I want to kind of produce a film that I can kind of call my own. So we made a short film called Ray in 2017, which sort of had a similar story. It followed Ray, who worked in a photocopier store and, you know, was led by his, his best friend, Wade, to kind of bigger and better things. And yeah, from that, John Tui and I, John Tui who plays Wade, we kind of had conversations about the potential of, of maybe turning it into a feature film. So when John kind of flew, flew back to New Zealand, I started writing and the ideas started flowing and, and worked with, with James and, and Michael to workshop the script. And really we just like, I think the biggest conversation John Tilly and I had was that we, we really wanted to explore the characters a little bit more. We wanted to explore Ray's family, but also Wade's Polynesian background and, and Wade's family so the feature film was inspired by that we wanted to explore the characters and we wanted to explore the story a lot more but we really enjoyed working together john loved working with us and, and yeah we just really we were just excited to to make a feature film when we made the, sh the short film we never intended it to kind of you know become a, a feature film but once we did kind of go into the early funding process and, and pre-production. The short film definitely helped us in the way that it became sort of like a, it was really great for pitching the feature film and pitching the script and, and pitching to investors. So never made the short film intending to turn it into a feature. It just kind of happened organically and that was a really exciting process. The challenges that we faced, Erin and I, my wife, this was the first feature film that we produced. So for us, we learnt a lot as we were going. It being a, an independent film, there are a lot of challenges funding-wise, obviously. Um, I think that's the biggest killer of, of film and the biggest hurdle that, that you've got to overcome to make a film. But we were really lucky because we really wanted to base the film in Geelong, our hometown, and we had a lot of support from investors in Geelong. We were really lucky because we had Alexandros Uzas, who has a massive amount of experience when it comes to, to funding films and getting films made. So for us, experience-wise, we had done short films, but this is our first feature, so there were a lot of challenges, you know, in pre-production and obviously while we were in production because we were learning a lot and we, I think as producers, were still learning what our authority was. So, so yeah, there were a lot of challenges when it came to what we thought we could achieve and what we did achieve. And also, you know, we didn't think that we could achieve what we did at the same time. And we were surrounded by an amazing team of of creators and we really enjoy the collaborative process of filmmaking so we lent a lot on the experience of others and yeah we just learned as we went and we had a really supportive team. Another big challenge for us was that we got lucky because we shot the film before COVID but releasing the film during COVID was really difficult. I think one of the big things for us was when we finally did achieve the goal that we set out to do and that was making this film. We were, you know, really excited to, to go to MIF and we we're really excited to travel with the film and go to festivals. So to have to kind of release a film and, it, you know, we, we got into MIF and we did get into a lot of festivals to 
to not be able to enjoy the wins of our first film by going to these events and being a part of these events was really difficult. We originally had discussions on whether we should release it when COVID had hit, but we thought about possibly waiting. Little did we know that we would still be here in COVID. So we're, we're grateful that we didn't wait, but we're also, you know, it was tough to release a film in cinemas during COVID, obviously. And it was, I think one of the biggest challenges was we had these expectations of, of what we wanted to achieve and we kind of had to settle with releasing it during COVID, but MIF did an amazing job with their festival online. And I also think that our film worked really well streaming through MIF. I think it, it did really well at MIF because I feel like people just wanted to sit down and have a laugh and enjoy a, an easy to watch lighthearted film. So yeah, that was a big challenge and it still is a big challenge. It can be difficult at times, you know, working alongside your partner, whether it's in a small business or a big business or, you know, making a film. So for us, you know, we were taking on a lot. We also got married the same year that we made this film. So for us, the biggest challenge was, I guess, dealing with, with the stress of, of making a film. And it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. It was tough producing a film with your partner and your wife. And there were a lot of tough times and a lot of rejection when it came to putting the film out there and a lot, you know, in the early process of trying to get it picked up and trying to get it funded. So we had each other, the support was great. You know, we it was amazing to be able to have a support network, but also it was difficult to try to find that balance of personal life and work life and kind of leaving the film at the door when we were at home. What we want people to take home from watching this film is, like I said before, we just really wanted people to enjoy themselves. We wanted to make a film that, that was easy to consume. It was an enjoyable viewing experience. We really wanted to see diversity on the screen. You know, we didn't want it to be forced diversity. I think one thing that, that we really enjoyed in the writing process was creating really unique and fun characters. And when we cast the film, we cast the net really wide. And, we just hope that people, you know, enjoy the diversity in the film and they really enjoy the film in general, because that's what we set out to do. We set out to make something that was a little bit unique, something that was a little bit quirky. And, yeah, but also the manhood story of the film is, you know, an interesting one. We bring on a female director. She did an amazing job finding the heart in the film. It's a story about manhood and it's a story about Ray trying to find his manhood and he's surrounded by so many different versions of, of what a man is to be. You know, Gary Sweet plays a really manly Aussie bloke and John's character Wade comes from a really family orientated character and then he's, he's got the people he worked with. It's a story about a man trying to find his place and he's a vulnerable man and he's just trying to step out of his comfort zone and we hope that the film inspires people to to maybe take up something that they've put off or it inspires people to question what do I want to do or what do I want to achieve. A massive achievement for us was when we were part of MIT, the the film ended up being I think like the second most streamed film of the festival. And for us, I think that was really, really exciting because I think people did enjoy just sitting down and, and having a laugh. And I think people needed something to just escape. We did shoot every part of the film in Geelong and that was a big factor for us. That's something that we really wanted to do. So one thing that's been really exciting is hearing locals from Geelong and, and even people that were raised in Geelong and living somewhere else to see their town kind of like represented on the big screen is really exciting. One piece of advice I give to aspiring creators is don't be afraid to, to dream big. I think I, I'm a firm believer in, you know, big dreams, but, but little steps. And that's one thing that, that we, we did, you know, we, we set out to make a feature film, which isn't an easy thing to achieve, but 
how we got to where we are and I think how we got to achieving that goal was taking the small steps. And I think the independent film industry is really exciting because there are so many great, diverse, independent stories and independent creators out there who want to make films and it can be hard and daunting to kind of like not know how to step into the industry and you know even for us we're still navigating our way into the industry but i think what's really exciting about the independent industry is it gives us little guys an opportunity to create films and for us yeah those little steps were really important like surrounding yourself with people reaching out to people who have more experience than you do and also just being upfront, being honest, and not being afraid to, to tell people that you've never done it before or tell people that you don't know what to do. A big thing for us was, you know, making short films. You can do a lot on your own and you can cut a lot of corners and there's a lot of things that you can get away with, but stepping into feature film land was really daunting when it came to like all of the legal stuff and all of the financing stuff and I think where our relationship with Alexi flourished was that we kind of just reached out to him and we were like you know we, we've got this idea we want to make a film we don't know what we're doing do you want to jump on board and he did and you know I think it's nice and it's kind of refreshing when people aren't afraid to to tell you that they haven't done something before but they want to do it or they're willing to learn so I think the big thing is, you know, if you've got a big dream and you don't have the experience or, you know, you're, you're fresh and you're new, that's okay. You know, like take those small steps, reach out to people, talk to people, meet people and just be yourself. The in independent film industry is really important and I think it's a really exciting place. For, for people like us and aspiring creators to kind of step into the industry. And I think one thing that we are really grateful for is the support of Film Victoria, the AACTA, you, you know, you guys have been great. MIF was really supportive. It's so amazing that there's such an incredible support for independent film and independent filmmakers that we can make films and also be with some of the bigger players and there's a, there's a nice equal playing field nowadays with streaming services and yeah we're just really grateful for the support that we've, we've had along the way. I also really you know want to take the time to thank the Paper Champions team. For us we we were so grateful for the family that we created and everyone has been so amazing we just yeah we couldn't have done this without the, the Paper Champions team and we hope you enjoy the film.